My name is Phil, and I run a company called Solo Dallas, devoted to making a line of products named the Schaefer Replica line. I reverse engineered some of the most classic ACDC sounds, which ultimately brought me to work with ACDC and Angus Young himself. The sounds of Back in Black, the guitar sounds, everything about Back in Black, it just hits you like a blade. And I started marveling about the sounds and the tightness. And the way that it's played and recorded and engineered, um, conceived, and everything about it is just so penetrating. And I believe that it never lets you go, in fact. With me, it had a sort of effect where I just knew that I had to discover how those particularly guitar sounds were made. And I discovered a unique device that had been used by Angus Young. Angus Young was replying to a specific question. Angus, do you use any effects? And he said, no, I just use a Schaefer Vega diversity system. Uh, and that's a wireless system that he used to use. And he said, for me, that's probably the best. But that was an answer to what guitar effects do you use? And he just said, I use none other than the Schaefer Vega diversity. And when I read that phrase, I really saw that light bulb over my head and I knew I was on to something. When Angus was presented with a Schaefer uh, that was in a live club in New York, we're talking about end of summer 1977, and he uh, spoke initially with, um, with Ken Schaefer, the inventor of that actual piece of uh, equipment, and he determined that you could further saturate your amplifier with the device. So uh, on the very first night that they got those couple of systems from the actual inventor, they knew that it would affect, for the better, Inga's sound. And they welcomed the system, not only for its wireless capabilities, because it was really a need of Angus to be able to go wherever he wanted to go. Very important to him, especially at the time, because he's always been a very wild performer. And the cable was really limiting his, his um, antics uh, on stage. And plus, it sounded great. And I mean, that was very relevant to them. They were great musicians already, extremely tasteful. You, they knew what sounded great and what didn't. I wrote a letter to Kenny. I call him Kenny now, but I used to call him Mr. Schaefer, uh, saying, I'm desperately looking for an original system, a wireless system that you invented. Do you have any, any left, any unit left that you'd like to give for scientific purposes? After a few months, he replied back to me and we became friends. He still had some units, which he uh, gave me and I started reverse engineering those very units. Angus Young caught a voice of the fact that I was doing this because some fans wrote, one fan particularly, an ACDC fan that was following the blog, which I still think to this day, uh, sent a letter, regular mail to Angus House. So, a little bit later, uh, Ken Schaefer and Angus got in touch and Angus asked us to go to Vancouver uh, at the their warehouse recording studio where uh, ACDC were recording a rocker bust. And so we went there and uh, gifted Angus with um, serial number 001 uh, Schaefer Tower, my very first uh, tower that we made. And two days later, when we returned home, Someone from the production called us, letting us know that Angus was liking very much the, the Schaefer Tower, and he was going to use it in the album and then on tour. So our relationship started like that with them, and we provided them with a number of Schaefer Towers, uh, even uh, subsequently in the following years. We were very warmly received in the studio, which was on, one of the best things that happened in my life, understandably. Uh, he's my, he was, has been, is and will be my hero forever. I still remember the day that my mother brought me the tape cassette of Back in Black back then in July 1980. And since then, the album has changed the way that I listen to music and I play music as well. But I think we already spoke enough about it. It's about time we hear the thing. It's comprised of a Marshall cabinet this is a reshoot cabinet loaded with uh, vintage speakers. 
And then we have a Marshall JTM 45, modified by us into a JTM 50, which is the actual amp, the model JTM 50 Marshall is the actual amp that Angus got to use for many years in the studio and live. And in this configuration, it's exactly the amp that uh, got to be part of the sessions of Back in Black and before that Highway to Hell. And then we have here our Schaefer Tower. So we're gonna briefly uh, run these and, and to give an idea of what they sound like. Let's uh, try the amp on its own first. <laughs> Let's now add to the recipe the Schaefer Tower and see what it does to the sound. Thank <laughs> you. 